Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Lab Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be creating some basic layouts that we can use in our routing. So let's get going on that right now. So we're finally going to get to start writing some real code now. What we can sort of do here is just sort of nuke out a lot of this stuff. In fact, I'm going to really delete everything in my index that's not the head tags. So we can get rid of that like so. And because we don't want any errors, we can just go ahead and delete everything in this index file that we had inside of our client. Actually, you can just go ahead and just delete that file entirely. We're not going to be using this. We now have this index.html with really nothing in it. And what we want to start to do is we want to create a layout. Now this layout can be used simply for any of our interior pages. Now we're also going to be having an entirely separate layout for our home page. So let's go ahead and in layouts, I'm going to right click new file and I'm going to make a new file here and I'm going to save this as main layout and I'm, I'm doing this uh, in capitalized camel case. So we're going to be saying template with the name of equal to and uh, and it's good convention to always name your template the same as your file so we can say main layout like so. Now let's wrap that template tag up. Now from here what I'm going to add is a main tag. So just a main element. Make sure this is properly tabbed. Okay. And inside of this main I'm actually going to have what is called a dynamic template tag. So instead of just having the forward slash and a template name, what we can actually say is template.dynamic. And we can say template is equal to main. So now this is going to be the main area of the site. Now what this is essentially acting as is an area for you to render content into. Once we get started with our routing, we're going to essentially be saying render this template into the main area. And that's going to drop it right into this template dynamic tag. So that's really all we need right now for this layout. However, we're going to want to add some things like our header. Header like so, just throw in an H1, um, my recipe book, okay? And we're also going to be just throwing in the standard login buttons in here. So we can just say login buttons. And you should have all of these packages already in your site if you grabbed the packages list from the last video. If you don't have the packages list, go grab the packages you need uh, just so things like the login buttons will work with no issue. Okay, so now that we have our main layout, we're, let's go ahead and actually create our home layout as well. Now, we could actually do this home layout as another template dynamic sort of thing where we're inputting content into this. However, for this example, I'm actually going to be making the home layout entirely self-sufficient, other than uh, maybe we're going to be breaking out some things like the header into a partial or something like that. However, the home layout, we're not going to be rendering content into. The home layout should probably contain the billboard and anything else that we need into it. So let's go ahead and make a new file. And again, we're just going to name this home layout.html. Now you certainly don't have to do it this way. In fact, the reason why I'm doing it this way is essentially just to show flow router loading a specific template only and loading a template within a template the dynamic way. So for the home layout, it's going to be rendering just this page for the main layout. It's going to be using this as a layout to render other content. So I'm just going to name this home layout. Okay, and inside of here, um, it's temporarily going to copy and paste into this header. Like I said, we'll probably push this out into a partial uh, so we don't have a uh, issue where we're repeating ourselves here. And then now let's just go ahead and make another main tag. Inside of our main, let's have a div with the class of billboard. 
And I'm using Emmet for this HTML auto completion. So if you're not using Emmet, check it out. It's really super handy. I have a video on Emmet in the Sublime Text Tutorials playlist. So here we can just have a um, some sort of generic title. So let's organize your meals with a Z. No, we'll have an S. Okay. Okay. So we now have our home layout, which you can see isn't doing anything fancy. It looks just like a normal template. We have our main layout, which is going to be rendering a dynamic template in here. And now the next thing we just need is some content to render in here and some routing code to allow us to change between these pages. So in the next video, we're going to set up our router to do some really super basic routing just between these two layouts. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.